I'm Cathy Blackwell. I teach the violin and the viola to children of all ages and abilities and I've taught in many different teaching situations. I'm David Blackwell. I play the cello and the piano and I help write and arrange the tunes in our books and I've also written many of the piano accompaniments. Together we've written over 40 books for young string players published by Oxford University Press. People often ask how we came to write our first pieces and we started by trying to find some material which Cathy could use with a junior string ensemble that she was conducting at the time. So one evening we moved to the piano, opened a bottle of wine and set about trying to find tunes that would work with just the open strings of the violin. We found two pieces, a short waltz which we called Katie's Waltz um, and in contrast Fast Lane which has proved to be a really popular piece. It's a 12 bar blues, uses three notes and is always very popular. People often ask us how we write our tunes together. Um, often it starts with an idea. Perhaps I want a piece that would fill a particular technical point or a bowing technique or a left hand technique. So it might start with which key it's going to be in, what range, what key signature it will be in. So we might have a start and then we both contribute to the process along the way. Yes, we identify the notes we want to use and then we try to find a musical style that we can write a piece in which we use those notes in the particular way that a student would learn. So the way we put together a book is we would plan out the structure, what techniques we wanted to cover, and then we would try to find either pieces which exist in the repertoire we could arrange or write our own original pieces to um, slot into that, th that structure. We do have a file of ideas at home and we do try and jot them down when we're at the beach well, or at the pub. We do, we do have lots of ideas and not all of them actually end up in the book so we, have, we do keep our ideas initially because they may be recycled in another book. At, at some point in the process of compiling a piece of music for a particular need we'll get together and play it through and then we start tweaking it to make it fit and adapt. There might be some compromises that need to be made in terms of the technical level. I'm the teacher so I understand a bit more what's actually needed for the violinists. David may have some ideas musically or as a composer that he would like to stretch it a little bit further but somewhere in the middle we meet and try and bring together something that works. Most of our books have CDs and that's an aspect we really enjoy putting together. For the books of pieces for younger players we do try to enliven them and bring in additional instruments so the pieces in a clear style such as a jazz style will get a string bass or an electric bass and then some drums will have percussion and we do sometimes have other instruments along as well and at the heart of that I'm somewhere at a piano or a keyboard playing playing along which is which is a very nice thing to do um, for the pieces at the higher end for more advanced students we tend just to have a piano accompaniment but all the music in our books covers a wide range of styles, so we try and input into <coughs> what additional instruments or sound effects would enliven the CD for students at home. We chose a sporting analogy for the titles of our books because most children can relate to this. Lots of them do sports in school and it gives a sense of progression, starters, joggers, runners, sprinters, and a lot of students and teachers enjoy guessing what the next book in the series is going to be called, but we're keeping them guessing. Teachers often tell us that our music is very successful for their teaching, different teaching situations. What they like about our books is that we provide a lot of repertoire at each stage. This helps students really consolidate their skills. We also present a wide range of repertoire from Baroque music to jazz and folk. And they also like our original pieces which they say are very effective because we try to understand what students need at each stage, so complete beginners, more established beginners, more advanced players. And they like our piano accompaniments and CD backings because these really give a nice kick to the, to the music. There are many different ways to teach string instruments and our books seem to work for teachers who teach Suzuki, who teach in a more conventional way, teach groups or teach individuals. So it seems to fit in with all sorts of approaches.